Hey, what's going on, Relentless Nation? Welcome to my channel, Relentless Enterprise. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank all the viewers and the recent subscribers to the channel. Um, in this channel, I primarily focus on the trucking industry and my experience with Covenant Transportation in the hopes that I bring value to somebody out there that might be interested in the trucking industry as well as Covenant Transportation. And later down the line, I do hope to be able to expand the channel into other categories like personal finance and so on and so forth because that's also another area that I'm very interested in. But for now, since trucking is what takes up most of my time, that is the area that I am focused in. Um, as you can see, we are here at the uh, Estes Yard out here in Oklahoma. Uh, we just finished up our runs for the week uh, and I believe we are at 5,200 miles, just a little over 5,200 miles. And we're gonna go into our 34 hour reset. Um, so that way we can start off tomorrow night um, ready to roll. Uh, but nonetheless, let's dive into it. On this video, we're gonna be primarily focusing on orientation with Covenant Transportation, what student pay looks like with Covenant Transportation. And I'm gonna be sharing my actual uh, pay stubs from the time that I was a student back in uh, uh, June to July of 2022. I've been with Covenant for just about six to seven months now, so let's go. So orientation with Covenant Transportation is three days long, and it's actually quite simple. I think it's just like almost any other orientation that I've been to, whether it's in the trucking industry or not. Um, the Most of the time, what you're doing is just going over all of your paperwork, all of your information, making sure that all your tax documents are submitted properly, making sure that if you went to a credible truck driving school that they recognize that you turn in all your certificates and receipts so that way they can reimburse you. Covenant does pay you $250 a month um, as a reimbursement for the truck driving school that you went to up until the amount is paid off. So my truck driving school was $4,500. So they're paying me $250 extra every single month up to 4,500. Once we reach 4,500, that 250 will no longer be there. That will disappear. Um, other than other than paperwork, majority of the time you're in a classroom with an instructor that's going over all the information that you need, giving you all the numbers that you need, and then as well as you're watching a lot of training videos. Um, a lot of it seems redundant. A lot of it is pretty much everything you've learned at truck driving school, um, but they do go over all that stuff with you. So just kind of be prepared to be in a classroom, sitting down um, in front of a computer and watching a bunch of videos, taking little quizzes um, after it. I mean, when I say a lot, I mean, we're talking about a lot of videos. Now, the videos are quite short. They're not these very like prolonged videos. Most of them are two to three minutes long, five minutes, um, somewhere around there. But for the most part, they're pretty short clips, but there's a lot of them. I believe like 90 to 100 videos that you're gonna be watching. Um, other than that, once you get done with that, um, you do get signed to a trainer. So my orientation was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They also hold, hold orientations Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that all really depends on your timing of when you come to orientation. But once you're done with orientation, you get assigned to a trainer. Now, this process for some people is very quick um, and for others is very long. For example, for me, it I was, I was done with orientation and then the following day, I had a trainer assigned to me and we were ready to roll. I believe we got on the road um, by Sunday. So I got there on Monday, done with the orientation on Wednesday. Thursday, I got my recruiter, uh, excuse me, my trainer assigned. Um, she was on the road with the student already and she was on her way back to Chattanooga and then she got back and then by Sunday, we we're ready to roll um, my stuff in her truck, um, ready to hit the road for training. But I also know there was other students that it took literally almost two weeks for them to get a trainer. And a lot of that stuff was just kind of like, you know, background issues. You know, some people, their urine test was taking a lot longer than others and others was pretty quick process. Um, so... That is pretty much the full scale of orientation. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna talk about um, training, what my training experience was like at Covenant Transportation and um, how you should prepare. So personally, I believe I had one of the best trainers um, here at Covenant. Um, her name is Lisa. For training, uh, you can either train by yourself or you can go in a truck with 
two students, one trainer. Um, and they ask you, you know, do you prefer your trainer to be a smoker or a non-smoker, so on and so forth. They give you these little forms. For me, the only thing I didn't, I cared about was smoker. I mean, I just, I didn't want my trainer to be a smoker. I don't smoke. I don't like the smell of cigarettes. And I don't think I want to be locked up in a box of somebody else that also smokes. Nothing against people who do smoke, but personally, I wanted to just have a trainer that doesn't smoke. The other stuff, I really didn't care. Um, they say that if you are going out there and training with you and another student, um, your training does go by a little bit quicker because there's two of you in the truck that's in your truck's constantly moving. Um, but I signed up for either or, and luckily I got the training where it was just me and the trainer and that's it. And my trainer, Lisa, she was pretty cool. She was pretty dope. She was down to earth. She was firm, but fair. Um, she was not there, you know, just yelling at you and all this other stuff. And a lot of these crazy stuff that I hear from some students experience. Uh, my buddy Zukifi, I mean, his trainer was pretty horrible. He, you know, they had to switch him trainers because of how um, terrible the situation was. So, you know, I don't know, you know, who you get or what you get as a trainer. Um, I don't know what that experience is going to be like for you. But for me, it was pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I got, I think I lucked out in that regard. But as far as training itself, it's anywhere between four to six weeks long. Now, I say four to six weeks long because... It's all dependent on freight. Um, training itself is actually pretty easy. Now, this is, again, it's all dependent on your trainer, right? Your trainer can either make or break it for you. Uh, but for the most part, training itself is pretty simple. They teach you how to use the Qualcomm. They teach you about their system on, you know, what to do when you get to the shipper um, and so on and so forth. Your trainer will help uh, perfect your Ali docs um, and so on and so forth. And then once you're done with your four weeks of training, you're going to come back to Chattanooga, and then once you come back there, you're going to take a test. They're going to test you uh, pretty much like a practical application test, test you on your knowledge, what you learned during training. And while you're in training, uh, your trainer is pretty much making sure that you understand all these things. Um, you take a test, and then once you pass this written test, they're going to actually take you to the mountain um, where they test you out on your skills. So they're going to have you do an alley dock, um, and then if you pass the alley dock, then you're gonna go on a road test. Um, once you're done with the road test, then you come back. Um, and then, you know, for me, I came with a partner, so I don't know what that process was like for those that don't didn't come to covenant with the partner. I came with a partner, so we've already had a truck. I mean, we were assigned a truck pretty quickly. Um, and then me and my partner actually got to take our truck back home to phoenix to start our home time which was pretty freaking cool i know sometimes it doesn't always work out like that a lot of people have to get a greyhound or have to fly back home after their training but we got to actually take a load and drive it back to phoenix so technically we were paid to go back home which was pretty nice instead of having to spend money on a greyhound or uh booking a flight back home just to come back to chattanooga um, i think we lucked out in that way but just kind of keep that in mind so training itself is actually not that hard it's actually i think it's important part i mean that's one of the things the reasons why a lot of big carriers um take on students so they can train you and help you tighten up some of the skills that you have so that way you can do better on the road so again i will just say prepare for four to six weeks you know they say about 35 days but again everything is dependent on freight if freight is not there, you guys really aren't moving much. You're not really getting much driving hours. I believe you have to do 140 or 100, I forgot how many hours it is, but I think it's anywhere between 140, 160 um, actual driving hours. So it's not how long you've been out there, but how many hours you clocked in driving. So just keep that in mind um, when you're considering Covenant. I think it's good. I think it's important because though all those hours are going to come in handy later down the road. So next I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go over the student pay while you're in orientation and while you're in training. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys actual uh, my actual pay stub um, here at Covenant while I was under student pay. I believe um, I was getting paid $725 a week. Um, and that's because I came with my hazmat endorsements. And if you don't come out, come with your hazmat endorsements, I believe it's $700 bucks so i guess you get paid an extra 25 bucks for coming with hazmat so let's jump right into that so that way you guys can see the actual patrons all right so here we go these are um my actual pay stub from covenant transportation 
this is the very first paycheck that I've received. Um, this is in combination of orientation and few days as a student driver. So as you can see, gross is six hundred and forty-two dollars and eighty-five cents, and when net would actually hit the bank account, it's four fifty. And then um, following day, as I said earlier, um, for me, uh, training pay was seven hundred twenty-five dollars. I believe it's seven hundred dollars if you don't have your hazmat. So I guess get your hazmat. It doesn't hurt to get an additional twenty-five bucks extra, I guess, <laughs> for whatever is worth. Um, and then 658 725 the following week as well as a student pay on here you're seeing the mileage that we driven so just take that times two it's probably the mileage we drove that week which was not that much i actually let's go back to the previous week as you can see we did not drive that much because freight was slow when i started and it seemed like for the most part we were just like <laughs> um taking trucks uh not trucks but trailers from uh, one place to a mechanic shop to this mechanic shop to that place. So I'm like, man, this this training or am I just a, um, a transporter of trailers to mechanic shops? But after that, we started uh, getting a little bit more decent miles. So we already looked at that week and then the week after that. So this is week three of training, um, 224. So that means we we're close to 5,000 miles that week. But as you can see, uh, mileage pay is zero because you're a student at this time so you don't get paid per mile you get that salary of 725 or 700 bucks um, mine was 700 and then week four and on week four as you can see still zero on mileage and um, we did 4,000 what is that 4,430 miles roughly and then as you can see this week, the pay, the gross is a little bit higher than the other week, because as I mentioned earlier, Covenant does pay you. Let me see if I can find it on here for student pay. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the details. So we can see where this pay is coming from. Others, yep. So as you can see, there is a stipend right there. So this paycheck looks a little bit higher than the other one, so $871 instead of the $725, and that's primarily because they do pay you a stipend here of $250. Now I was looking at this and I was questioning this because this doesn't make didn't make any sense to me. Um, because student salary, like I told you earlier, $725. But here it says $621, right? And that says $250. So technically that should be $725. And I've talked to them and they gave me some bogus ass answer. Um, that I never understood. So um, I guess I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be sitting here trying to fight over this crap. But anyways, the gross was 871, 43, and the net was um, 713. And then after that, I actually, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek because I'm go I am going to drop a paste dub recap of three months and six months working at covenant and then after that the next following week i was actually waiting for my co-driver to finish his training because he was a week behind me so i temporarily partnered with this guy named cedric really cool dude from texas and um, at the time 73 cents per mile is what i was getting paid per mile cedric and i ran uh, so 1845 times two um, you do the math on that um, i believe it's just a little over three thousand miles uh, for that week and um, grossed $1,402 that week with Cedric and I and that's what I did net and then I'll go ahead and drop another video that's going in and diving into all my other pay stubs after that but this right here in itself um, captures student pay orientation uh, pay while you're at Covenant so that way you can see raw data raw numbers and I hope this was valuable to you and if you found this valuable um, please go ahead and like it it's just going to help push this message out this video out to other people that might be interested in covenant um, and uh, go ahead and also subscribe to the channel as well because i do really appreciate that and again helps with the good old youtube algorithm and uh, thank you again for visiting my channel and for those that subscribe i really do appreciate you and for those that hit the like button i appreciate you as well bye for now